Hi, Alan Stratton from Meswood Turns. I attended SWAT this year. It was a great event. And uh, before I went, I'd made a couple of scoops and I was looking for other styles. On the SWAT agenda was another one. It was going to be presented by Sally Alt. Uh, and so I planned on making a style, of another scoop in that style. I, Sally caught me at the at lunchtime and said, well, you didn't attend my presentation. I said, well, uh, I'm sent my wife instead. So, but he says, well, but then you won't know my special tips and tricks. Well, I got some for my wife. The most significant tip that I will totally reinforce is this one requires that you drill a hole for the handle into the bowl portion. Whatever you do, don't wait till the last minute to drill that hole. You will regret it. So at least do it before you sand, but even before that is probably better. I think that's one of her big tips, but if you get a chance to see Sally, Sally, go ahead and learn her trips firsthand. But meanwhile, let's turn this two-piece scoop. My large lathe is ill and in the shop. The speed control gave out. So, for a while, I'm using my mini lathe. I have clamped the mini lathe on top of the large lathe bedways. Now I have mounted a cylinder on the, of plum to the chuck. After trimming the end, I start hollowing for the bowl with my spindle gouge. This works because this is end grain. The gouge is nearly closed, so the bottom wing does the cutting. Now to drill the handle hole before I finish the hollowing. This is quarter inch and slanted slightly to taste. With my dull bit, the hole may be slightly large. Now I can work the outside. I mark my limit, then round off the bottom and clean up the sides. I check the wall thickness repeatedly. I'm using my spindle gouge in both a push cut and a shear cut. After a thorough sanding inside and out, it is time for shellac. I like shellac because it dries fast and can blend easily between old and new applications. Then part off the bowl portion. Now for the handle. I am not sure, but this looks like mahogany. This is mounted between centers while I turn a tenon on the tailstock end. After swapping centers for a chuck, I remount the wood in the chuck and continue. I'm using my sharpened end wrenches to size down to my tenon. However, these generally run large, so I do have to fine tune and check the fit. Since the other end is in the chuck, this is quick and easy. I leave the tenon long. I will trim it later since it will protrude into the bowl. I can also leave the tailstock divot for trimming later. The handle is similar to a finial from here on out. I waste excess wood with my spindle gouge, then shaping with my skew which leaves a much better surface. I almost did not leave enough wood next to the chuck for my ball end.
After sanding to 400 grit, I decide on a couple of accent burn lines. Then, shellac for the finish. You would think I'm finished, but the bottom of the bowl is still nasty. Time for my wood soft jaws. I've tried wood collets and jam chucks, but since I can quickly customize the fit, this is great. Much better than a jam chuck and holds tight. Customizing gradually increases the minimum size the jaws can handle, but since it only takes a little wood, I can reface the jaws and use them again. If all wood is gone, well, glue on new jaws. I do not need to purchase a new set of plastic jaws. After sanding and a final shellac application, I can trim the handle tenon and glue it together. I believe this is one of the easiest scoop styles I have ever turned. Offset styles are also fun, but obviously more difficult and potentially dangerous. More styles coming? Use the same or different woods for the handle and bolt. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe on my website, and tell your friends about my videos. I appreciate your comments and questions. Every week, I add a new wood turning video to my website. Always, please wear your full face shield anytime the lathe is running. A face shield saved my life, and it can save yours, only if you use it. If you use it, I will see you again next week. If you do not use it, my condolences to your family.